Hi everyone, Teddy Baldessar with teddybaldessar.com. In this video, we're gonna be looking at a watch from Hamilton with their Khaki Pilot Pioneer. So in this video, we'll do a full in-depth review of this timepiece. In the description down below will be relevant links on where to purchase this watch as well as to get more information on teddybaldessar.com. And then at the end, we'll go over some final thoughts, things to consider if you are looking in the direction of this timepiece. Guys, take a closer look. At this watch. First, looking at a rundown of the specs, we have a case size of 36 millimeters by 33 millimeters. That is just the diameter. We'll talk more about that later. Thickness 10 millimeters, lug width of 18 millimeters, lug to lug of 41.5 millimeters, water resistance of 100 meters. Movement is a manual H50, so that is an ETA 28012 modified caliber, crystal, mineral, price $845. And if you use promo code Pilot Pioneer at checkout, teddybaldesser.com, full authorized dealer of Hamilton watches, you can get a free strap up to $100. With your purchase, just add the watch, add the strap, and you'll be good to go. TeddyBaldessar.com, full factory warranty for all the brands that we carry. Quick and fast fulfillment, dedicated customer service based here in the US, as well as nine out of every $10 that we generate goes right back into the content that we're creating. Now, to begin looking at this Hamilton watch here, it is important to identify the original influence where Hamilton is drawing from the archive. Now, similar to the popular Hamilton Khaki Field Mechanical, a watch that draws from a monumental military issued timepiece from Hamilton, staying true to the design and packaging and putting in a very attractive modern format at a great price. And I have reviewed that watch in great detail on the channel already, so definitely check that out after this one. But much of the same ideas are presented here with the Pilot Pioneer Mechanical, at least in regards to its styling and pulling from prior influence. Unlike other models, there is little uncertainty that this watch is being inspired from years prior. Its direct inspiration comes from a 1970s reference with the W10, a pilot watch made for the British Ministry of Defense from 1973 to 1976. Now, the watch mirrors many of the design and case elements of the period in order to create a proper rendition of the military issued timepiece. Now to begin with the most notable of its features is going to be the case dimensions. Uh, the dimensions follow very closely to the original and is a reflection of the time period. Now Hamilton measures out the case at 36 millimeters by 33 millimeters which is a bit confusing to be honest as one might think that that is referring to the diameter and then like the lug to lug distance or the length of the case. However instead it's actually referring to the diameter across at different sections of that case. The 36 millimeters being in reference to the measurement from the 9 to the 3 o'clock and the 33 millimeter calling out the case diameter from the top of the case as it is more of a to know style and will lead to a drastic change in the diameter depending on the area of measurement. That said, this one in reality is a 36 millimeter watch wearing just a tad smaller than that as a byproduct of the very compact lug to lug distance of 41 and a half millimeters. Now to put it simply, this is rather a small watch by modern standards and will be best suited for those with small smaller wrists or those who just greatly appreciate the history behind military timepieces, a group that I know is in no insignificant number. The case finish comes in an all brush style matching the utilitarian undertones while featuring a slightly recessed crown at the 3 o'clock that is still easy to engage the hand wound caliber within while offering a bit of added protection to the crown. Now the crown is non screw down, it does operate in typical fashion with hand winding obviously at that first position and adjusting the time at that farthest pulled out point. And as an important note, this watch is sustaining 100 meters of water resistance making it a great everyday wearer in that aspect. Between the lugs on this piece is an 18 millimeter lug width, giving way to many options of straps to be paired with this piece. With this model we have here, it's coming equipped with a gray NATO with a sign Hamilton buckle on the other end and leather outlines of the punch holes with the NATO to bolster security of that NATO when strapped to the wrist. But definitely take advantage of the variety of different straps that you can pair with this thing in that promo code above Pilot Pioneer if you add this watch as well as a strap to your checkout at teddybaldasar.com. Now to get onto the subject of the crystal as it is surely going to be a talking point in the comments down below if I had to guess. In the popular Hamilton Khaki Field Mechanicals, they come paired with a sapphire crystal, which might lead some questions of why in this case with the Hamilton Khaki Pilot Pioneer it comes with a mineral crystal instead. Now simply put, the sapphire crystal is going to be more rugged and the choice for the mineral was clearly done as a result of Hamilton leaning towards the aesthetics of the mineral while being more true to the original watch in which it draws its inspiration from. And although I don't want to make the claim that the mineral crystal is better of the two, as I think the added durability of resisting scratches is going to be the better choice for the more wearers out there, but when putting it next to the khaki feel mechanical, you do start to see 
why it was perhaps chosen. You should be able to notice how much clearer the dial is uh, when looking at it from different angles. It's better at resisting glare. It makes the dial pop a bit more. It also will get rid of smudges and shadows much easier compared to that of a traditional sapphire and generally just provides, again, a cleaner view of the dial elements underneath. And again, I don't think that these are points that are going to allow someone to maybe prefer this over a sapphire, but I do think there's a bit of a lack of understanding of the inherent upsides of mineral versus a sapphire when it comes to these traits, especially when looking at a watch with a black dial, which are notorious for having awful reflections. Looking within the dial, the aspects of the case and how it carries heavily into the world of vintage is here in spades as well, if not even more so. First, the dial surface on the watch looks absolutely fantastic in comparison to some of the more muted finishes of other khakis. The Pilot Pioneer comes with a black texturized surface that has a slight reflective graphite colored finish. Along the outside, a railway style minute track in white with faux loomed hour markings next to large corresponding hour numerals executed in white to offer nice legibility. Following the legible attributes of the Pilot Pioneer, it also features a large triangular marker at the 12, following the common trait of Pilot watches to assist with orientation in dark and in light environments. At the center, a pencil style handset containing faux loom to match the dial and simple printing of Hamilton brand at the 12 and the writing of mechanical at the 6. In short, the dial is very attractive with the only point that might lead to some pushback being the superficially aged loom that I know many don't enjoy. Yet I think it does look nice in this instance, but with its color, it's going to make the loom not shine with extraordinary incandescence. Now flipping the Pilot Pioneer over, the watch features a simple closed down case back held into place with the help of four screws at its periphery, allowing the watch to obtain 100 meters of water resistance. Now the engraved text on here is going to change given the fact that this is not a live inventory example that we have. So just kind of keep that in mind, but it does feature basic writing of the reference, water resistance, etc., but does not feature any military markings that one would have seen from the original W10s back in the day. Within this watch is the Hamilton H50, which is a modified ETA 28012 movement, a Swiss-based hand-wound caliber that offers nice reliability and spec and is housed within many of Hamilton's khaki mechanicals. Now, the movement takes the traditional 28,800 vibration per hour beat rate of uh, traditional ETA calibers and then drops it down to achieve a lengthier power reserve of 80 hours as a byproduct of a 21,600 vibration per hour beat rate to really maximize the energy stored within the mainspring. In this modification, it does provide a ton of upside with having a great everyday wearing option. And I think there's a ton of pros in going this route and what the Swatch Group does for many of the brands, including Hamilton, to achieve this lengthy power reserve. The one thing to consider, though, is the regulator system or the regulator pins are going to be affected by this or just change in how you're going to do it. So not going to be in the traditional place on the balance, but instead it's going to be laser regulated and able to do that. It's going to be a bit more of a chore, so probably not for the faint of heart there if you are trying to do it yourself. But just to unpack in regards to what this movement is bringing forth, have 21,600 vibration per hour or three hertz beat rate, features hacking and hand winding. So hacking, stopping that second hand when you pull out the crown to the farthest position. And again, power reserve of 80 hours. All right, so now to unpack and look at some final thoughts for the Hamilton Khaki Aviation Pilot Pioneer Mechanical. Now, when looking at the full khaki mechanical collection, I think that is going to be the first point that everyone's going to bring up. You have the Camelton Khaki Field Mechanical that you can get, Sapphire, Crystal, uh, essentially the same setup, different wearable case, uh, is appealing to a different design style, but very much a part of the khaki collection for south of starting at $500. And then you have this one selling for $845. So that considered, I think that price discrepancy might be a huge barrier for some people to overcome. That considered though, the style of which this one is going for is very distinct. It is a small watch, but if you like this military watch, the history behind this piece, as well as the 1970s style case, then this is definitely going to be a watch that you're going to like. The dial is unquestionably well done in terms of its surface finish, definitely elevated from that of the traditional khaki field mechanicals. Also getting 100 meters of water resistance, which is nice for being able to wear this in a variety of different situations and getting a manual caliber within that stays true to those original field pilot style watches uh, from back in the day. But in summary, a very distinct offering from Hamilton within the khaki field collection, which is a very busy collection and you have plenty of options at your disposal. But amongst that busy catalog, this one certainly stands out and for the right type of individual that values this history connected to this timepiece as well as wanting something that is a bit different and just a more small wearer on the wrist this will be an ideal option for that individual all right guys well thank you again so much for watching if you did enjoy the video thumbs up subscribe and hit the bell icon that really does help the channel also if you're in the market for this watch link in the description down below teddyballthestar.com full authorized dealer of all the brands we carry full factory warranty so if something goes wrong you're not having to pay the bill for it also dedicated customer support based 
here in the US also offer price match. So if you see one of our watches at another authorized dealer for cheaper, fill out the form on the product page and we'll reach out to you. And finally, nine out of every $10 that we generate from our store goes right back into the content that we're creating. But guys, thank you again so much for watching. Be well, and I'll see you all very soon.